Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on Flutter. Uh, today we are going to learn how to convert a website into an application in just a few minutes using Flutter. So that actually means creating a web view application. So what is a web view? If you want uh, more or less explanation, you can get more explanation here. I already, I already written some stuff about the web view app on my medium page so you can check out you can check it out here you can check it out here uh, this another one uh you explain every necessary stuff in india okay as you can see this is an explanation you can check it out also here you can check it out uh, okay so what we are going to be doing in today i already built an example as you can see it is an example so i'm going to show you what we are going to be doing so this series is will be split into four parts so as not to take much time so it will be split into four parts so we have we are going to uh, uh implement four different types of web view so uh, let me show you the example so you can understand what i'm trying to say here so okay yeah, just okay so this is what we are going to be doing uh building throughout this series so this button has different types of web view so this example one okay so in this example one as you can see as you can see okay let me just restart this stuff so in this example one, when we first click this button it shows loading and this button uh bar navigation and that's all for this example but this is just the simplest way of being a web view of a website in an app so you can also zoom in and out you can zoom in and out and zoom in and out if you click on the button that is now getting to other page you can see it's also navigate to other page it also navigate it also navigate to uh on our page and if you press the black button it's going to uh, go back to the previous web page it is from as you can see it's more back to the previous page if you click on this back now it's going to go to the very home page if you click on on this back again now it's going to move to the home page again okay so you can see it closed the web view so example two Example two, you can see the example two has a loading indicator. It has a loading indicator that the web view is is coming up. Let's try it again. As you can see, you can see it started to load. When it loads, finish, then the website is ready to be viewed. Okay, as you can see, this is the. It also has a reload uh, button. That you can reload the application. You can also zoom in and out. You can also zoom in and out. Uh, and refresh. We refresh. You can see it's still the same thing. Still the same thing. Uh, it's still the same thing. It's still the same thing. You can see on. Um, uh, okay. So if you click on this uh you want to move to another page in the example you can see when we click on this uh lemo we just view the page we don't see any loading indicator but if you click on this lemo you can see this loading shows and tries to load the page up and uh, when it loads when the stuff disappear okay as you can see and that's that if we press the black button it move back to the home page Okay, example theory. You can see this another type of ABBA. I see it has a search. You can insert any URL. It also has some menu items. 
here reload and close uh, that's that if you, if you want to implement other URL like you can change the URL here to something else maybe let me just try my GitHub you can't so you can check it you can see how it works okay you can see it loads up the GitHub repo as you can see this is a nice page okay this is as you can see very good and the old stuff look now that you can also zoom in and zoom out so you can close the web page as well just click on the an example theorem okay, example sorry example four so example for us this nice web page as you can see you should have almost see this web page uh every where is is such a recommend large uh take stuff that want to view a website on the app as you can see it when we on scroll it closes the app uh the app auto generated app bar yeah. it closes it up on like others which the app by static it is not moving at all so it closes it up it also has this power by google by chrome uh, we can also insert a custom items or custom items into the into the these menu items and and do some other stuff so that is just that is what we are going to be having having in this series so let's dive straight into the uh into coding uh this example one sorry this series is split into four parts so this video will be in four parts part one of this uh series what we are doing today the part two will be i will upload the videos later later in the week so kindly subscribe and turn on the notification icon so you can receive updates when i upload other other videos so let's dive straight into the coding